Hey guys, Risque here, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. So last we left off, um, we met Scott Shelby, the private detective. Um, Ethan had Sean over from school, and right now we're playing as a new person who have we have not been introduced to yet, but he's really hot, and I want him and Ethan to be a couple. And I ship them as a couple, and in my head it's canon. They get together, so just so you know. The more you know. Ooh, this looks rough. I love how real that freaking rain looks, though. God. The lights and the reflection, like, God, all the detail that went into this game is freaking amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I hate myself. Oh, okay. Alright. Can I talk to this guy? No? This guy? No? Okay. Huh. That was worth a try. Okay. Sorry, sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden. FBI? You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Alright. Let's go. Agent Jaden. I like that better than Norman. I don't know, Norman is just such an old guy's name. <laughs> okay. Which, this is really cool. This is a really cool feature of this game. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.49. Okay. Because it's cool because you can do that and it'll point you to evidence. It's so awesome. Unrelated to the investigation. Yeah. Done her to check. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Ah. Thanks. Appreciate you. Okay. Um, let's see. Anything out here of interest? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Then why give me the option to look at it if it doesn't matter? I think that's stupid. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, what's this? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Okay. Um, let's see. Orchid pollen. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? The body must be under the tarp near the lights. The very common pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. Probably the end of the trail. Harry coming. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. Okay, whoa, whoa, what's that? Is that a footprint of interest?
footprints continue just after the pollen drop. There's a good chance that they'll ever kill us. Okay. Well, hey, glad we found it. That's good. Um. Let's see. I'm just gonna kind of walk around a bit. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, is that the... I guess that's the orchid pollen trail. Okay, that makes sense. What? What was that all about? Okay, I'll look at the body in a little bit. What's this? Harry comment. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Again. And why'd you look at it? Yeah. Why didn't give it as an option? Shit. What's this? Does this matter? Harry, comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. You're making me mad, Jaden. Making me mad. Okay, let's talk to Blake. Where's Blake? I thought, I thought he was around here. What the hell? Oh, there he is. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like well. the work of the origami killer. Um, has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Uh, there are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Would you stop walking? Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? I didn't mean to press that, oh my damn guess. it. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Ooh. Okay. That really good graphics, but that glitching was awful. I'm really mad I didn't mean to press that. That was like the one answer I was looking to avoid. God bless it. Okay, well let's go look at the body. See if it tells me anything. I'm really mad. Okay. Harry, coming. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. So much. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's look at this first. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. And the blood is the same as on the tracks. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Okay. What's that? The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Alright, um... His face is covered with mud. 
like the other Pokemons. I think that's everything I can look at. Okay, I think I'm done here. Let's go ahead and get going. Oh, my nose is so itchy. So yeah, how are you guys? I hope things are good for you. Oh, shoot. Oh. I'm gonna leave. I see you in the office, right? Okay. See you later. I really wanted to ask him more stuff. I'm so upset that I pushed leave. Like, I didn't mean to. Ah. It's so upsetting. Okay. Well, let's head back to the car. I gotta say car, because it sounds like he has a Boston accent or something. Alright. That's not what I want to do. Right. Let's get going. I wonder who we're going to play as next. Are we going to continue as him? Or are we going to play as Scott Shelby some more? Maybe Ethan? I wonder if they've said Ethan's name yet. I don't even know if they have. Okay, guess we're playing as Ethan. Um, yeah, I see an insect. An insect. Um, a rat. A rat. A rat's head. A crab. A crab. Death. 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 the results of your MRI scans, everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Um, it's a little distant. He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Mm. Yeah, depressed. I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, sure. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Uh, blackouts. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. 
It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky. Or 10 p.m. 0.986 inches. Uh, How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm Your sorry, teacher's Taylor. a bitch. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. <sighs> Come on. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Okay. Okay. You want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. And you're gonna throw it straight and a little to the right. Now, throw it! Job, Sean. Oh. See? See, that with my look, so somebody would throw a boomerang and it would fly around and hit me in the head. And I'd like get knocked unconscious and probably lose an eye or some shit. It's like, God, those things are so scary. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, let's play on the seesaw. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Okay. Come on, Dad! Make me fly! Alright. Whoa! <laughs> this is like way too fun. It's like, oh, <laughs> such a cute father-son relationship. Like, ugh, gives me so much life. It's like it's okay. You'll get your son back one day, Ethan. I hope. Like he'll, he'll be friends with you again. Um, let's see. Let's call on the swings. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Okay.
It's only the second push, yo. Come, calm down. Okay. <laughs> so much fun. Oh my god, but as a kid, the swings were like my favorite things ever. <laughs> Even though one time this bitch was pushing me, and she pushed me so hard that I fell off backwards. <laughs> that was cool. I hated that asshole. She turned out to be an asshole like as an adult too. Looks like rain's coming. I think you better go. Okay. Okay. Uh, whoa. There we go. <laughs> I just I just want to walk through the swings. Move, kid. Hey, don't get your bag. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Maybe the game gonna end here. This is a happy ending. I like this ending. Oh my god. Okay, this camera though. Lord have mercy. There we go. <sighs> hey Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Okay. One, please. That's a dollar. Wow, that's cheap. It's quite a deal. Ugh. Ow. Jesus. And okay, at the zoo, the carousel was my favorite thing ever also. Like, I would want to ride it, like, three times. It was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> oh, good lord. Jesus. That! Ah. Corner West. Okay. Oh God. Hey, son. Sean. See, this looks really bad, Ethan, because, okay, the first kid dying under your watch wasn't your fault, but a second kid goes missing while you're watching him? That looks a little shady. The 
what up, Norman Jaden? Agent Norman Jaden? Ooh, he has like a little scar. I'm like, ooh, you're hot. Like, so many of the dudes in this game are so attractive. Tuesday, 7.55 p.m., 1.326 inches. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Do, 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 do. We're not going to resort to your Ari to have fun, Jaden. We have to take responsibility and be patient. See, this is fun. We. <laughs> and it'll make sense why I don't want to use it too much later. Okay, we'll just keep doing this. This is fun. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. Not right now. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I'm sorry. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. Well, why can't we get up and like walk around? That'd be fun. Just do some exploring. Come back later. Those are nice shoes. I assume being in the FBI pays a shit ton. Just my assumption. I could be wrong. There we go. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. Just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we had some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. It's like, Norman, you're a little close. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be yeah. frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this hunt, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case uh, crept up on us, right. and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country. What do you know? This guy is exotic. He needs flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. No. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlene, she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jadis. Okay. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.